kids, where a kid can be a kid. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. That's when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. Let's sing the animal song. Have you ever tried to speak? 
figure out what the animals say. It's really hard, cause they talk a different way. Some moo, some meow, some bark, some squat. Let's learn which sound an animal makes when it talks. What sound does a doggy make? What sound does a doggy make? What sound does a doggy make when it talks? Does it quack? Does it moo? Does it meow? Does it bark? What sound does a doggy make when it talks? Right, it barks. That's the sound that a doggy makes when it talks. What sound does a kitty make? What sound does a kitty make? What sound does a kitty make when it talks? Does it quack? Does it moo? Does it meow? Does it bark? What sound does a kitty make when it talks? Right, it meows. That's the sound that a kitty makes when it talks. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Have you ever tried to figure out what animals say? It's really hard, cause they talk a different way. Some quack, some chirp, some hiss, some roar. Come on, let's try to figure out a couple more. <laughs> what sound does a ducky make? What sound does a ducky make? What sound does a ducky make when it talks? Does it quack? Does it moo? Does it meow? Does it bark? What sound does a ducky make when it talks? Sure, what it could be used for. 
We use the spinning wheel to spin wool into yarn. It's been around for a long time. Why, it used to belong to my grandmother, Caillou. I use it in the shop as a decoration, but it still works. Do you want to touch it? It's wool from the sheep. The wool felt very soft to Caillou. Here, I'll show you how it's done. You have to stretch it. Mary, can you give me a hand? Sure. Grandma, look! Caillou thought it was pretty neat that the wool began turning into yarn. It was almost like magic. Wow! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Do you want to go see the sheep with me? And that was exactly what Caillou wanted to do. Go ahead, Caillou. Yeah! We'll have some tea and chat. Caillou thought the sheep looked very funny. It was much skinnier than the other sheep. Where did its wool go? Why is it like that? Dad probably just sheared him. Come and see. Mary, wait! Caillou couldn't believe what he was seeing. The man was taking the wool right off the sheep's back. Dad really concentrates when he shears sheep. I bet he won't even notice us. Is this sheep cool? Oh, no. And his wool will go back. Come on, I want to show you something else. What? It's a surprise. Caillou was curious to see what would come next. Is this wool? Yes, it is. Wow! Oh no, he got out of his box again. Caillou was a little scared. Come on now, back in your box. This sheep was much smaller than the other sheep. It looked like a baby. And it did not seem to want to listen to Mary at all. <laughs> Come on. He drinks milk from a bottle like Rosie used to. Is he a baby? Yup. We call a baby sheep a lamb. And lambs love milk, like all babies do. The lamb's wool seemed even softer than the other wool he had touched before. Caillou really liked the lamb. Now let's try to get him back into his box. Do you want to hold the bottle? Okay. You just have to back up. The lamb will follow you. I'll open the door. Okay, Caillou, you can come out now. Sorry, no more. Thanks, Caillou. Caillou was very proud to have helped. We had a great time, Emma. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have to do this more often. Oh, definitely. Where's Mary? Mary? Here you go, Caillou. It's for you. Caillou? Thank you. Look, Daddy. Shh. Mama's sleeping in the living room. Look, Daddy. I got a sheep. Me. And Rosie gets a sheep, too. Me, too. <laughs> Caillou decided that his sheep would be good company and help Mommy sleep better.
Pinkle? Yes, to make a doghouse. A doghouse? Hello, Mr. Hinkle. Hello. Glad you could come and help. And hello to you too, Caillou. Where's the doggy? Caillou? Hello, Mr. Hinkle. They're not one, but three dogs. Two puppies and a mom. <laughs> Listen, that's one of them.
Clementine on the phone. She just got a new pet and we're invited to go see it. Want to go? Uh-huh. Caillou could not wait to play with Clementine's pet. I know Clementine didn't get a cat. Can you guess what she got? Caillou's own pet was Gilbert, a cat. What else could a pet be? A dog? True, a dog can be a pet, but that's not it. Try again. Look, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Maybe Clementine got a squirrel? Nope. Squirrels are wild animals. They live outside. Let's see. I'll give you a hint. Clementine's pet is orange. What could be orange, thought Caillou? A dinosaur. Oh, my. That would be something. I guess you'll soon find out. Hello! Hello. Please, come in. Come see. He makes bubbles. <laughs> what kind of an animal could blow bubbles, Caillou wondered? A fish. What does he eat? I like hot dogs and cookies. Here you go, sweetie. Now, just a little bit, okay? He eats fish food. See? Take a tiny pinch and drop it on the water. Wow! My little fish will get too warm if he keeps his jacket on. Okay. Thank you, Caillou. Do you want to play? Hi, fishy. His name is Goldie because he's a goldfish. <laughs> The fish seemed to stop a moment to say hello. Caillou was delighted. Goldfish, goldfish, <laughs> Goldie the goldfish. Anyone for a snack? Goldie the goldfish. I can eat like Goldie. Let's draw Goldie. For you. Thank you. It's beautiful. Caillou will be leaving soon, all right? Caillou did not want to go just yet. He had a surprise in mind. Caillou was happy. Goldie was looking at his picture. Mommy was ready to go back home. Here, it's for Goldie. Bye, Clementine. Where they are. <laughs> what about this one? Yes. 